Geekly Married Geek Night. Hi. We're Geekly Married. So what do you want to do today? You're probably not going to enjoy it. Does it require cleaning? No, no cleaning. Cooking? To an extent. Hard work. It probably will require some work. Uh, what do you got? I picked this up at Lolly and Pops. Poppin' cooking. Poppin' cooking. Poppin' with one P. Poppin'. <laughs> Maybe two P's was trademarked already. <laughs> Maybe. Candy for kids. It's a do-it-yourself candy kit. It, it looks like food, though. For kids. It did come from a candy store. And we're like kids at heart. Big kids, right? Yeah. No bake. Yeah, and this one you get to make, it's um, Japanese style. So you get to make uh, ramen, mango pudding, a dumpling, and spring rolls. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I've never done one, sounds, but I've always wanted to. Sounds fun. All right. Let's try it. Let's try it. All right, so we're going to do some poppin' poppin' cooking. Instructions are on the back here. Make the mango pudding. Add water to the cup until it's half full. Add powder from the orange packet. Ten minutes. Yeah, we'll we'll be letting that sit while we work on some other stuff. <laughs> so tiny. Uh, soup. Noodles. Dough. Ingredients. <laughs> Gotta have them ingredients. Toothpick for whenever you're done, I guess. Mango pudding powder. I think it's to stir with. Uh, makes <laughs> more sense. Half full. I gotta do this half full. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm too big for this. I feel like a giant. Hey. Perfect. I take it that's just for mixing, probably. Is that what you said? Or that's for mixing. No, I think that's for eating. Uh, makes sense. Forks. May, may we put it all in there? All right. For the mango pudding, I believe so. That's what it says. Wow, that seemed like a lot more than... Now you use your toothpick. Stir that up. Nice even strokes. You want it to be consistent. I want stiff peaks. I don't know if with pudding you want stiff peaks. That's more like a meringue or something, isn't it? <laughs> All right, now we gotta let that set for 10 minutes. We'll be back in 10 minutes. He's joking. <laughs> Make the ramen toppings. Pull water up into the line in the tray. We didn't cut the tray. He's not ahead of the game, guys. Not. Cut that tray. Time to cut that tray. The only contestant is me. <laughs> so we need. There's the for the egg right there. Mhm. Mm so I cut that in half too. It says four ways. Alright, instructions. You've led me wrong before. It could be user error though. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Don't mess with success. Alright. You ever done one of these before? No. No, that's why I have to keep looking over here. Pour water to the line in the star tray. Okay. Add powder from the blue packet. Alright. Dough, I take it. So you can get you some water. Yes. Which line? That line, I guess. The tiny yes, line. Yes, the, the line. There oh, yeah. you go. I've always been really good at doing that. Pouring water to a line? Yeah. Like, pretty much perfect oh, every single time. Congratulations. You should have gotten an award for that. That's right. <laughs> I 
to my science teacher. That was crazy. It smells really sweet. It does. It smells good though. Like pure <clears throat> sugar. I kind of am picking up like a fruity scent from it. Well, we have candy dough. Mm -mm. All right. All right. And the third step is. All right. So you mix till thick. Tear off two pieces of the dough and fill the Naruto egg molds. Yes. So, oh, that feels really cool. Feel that. Well, ooh, that's really awesome. That is really. It's not sticky at all. So you just like. Yeah, I think you just like press. Jam it, it in there. Yeah, I think you just like press them into the molds. So it's <clears> two pieces, not like half of it, right? Right. Like I think you just filled the molds with. The candy dough, I think is what it was saying. Ask her, I'm not good at instructions. Yeah. <laughs> and then it says remove them. And then remove them immediately. Mm -hmm. They're kind of sticky, so they're not going into the molds very well. Divide remaining dough in quarter. Spread one dough evenly to match shape and size of the packing pouch and guide. Place Ooh, I said. Um, just wherever. Let's hope whoever made this hands were clean because I'm putting it on the package. There's the little egg shape we made. And we'll just tear around the edges of it. I think that might work. There you go. I hope that works. Look. Little spirals with Martin will get his arm out of the way. Shadow puppets. Alright. Into quarter. What do you mean, like four pieces? Well, that's kind of what I thought, but I think they mean in a quarter, in, in two quarters, but they put that's in quarters. Says. In quarters. Yeah. Okay, so tear the remaining dough into quarters. And what's the, which one's the Goza mold? Probably that big round one. Because this is the bowl for the ramen over here. Right. So the, go the goiza dumpling, is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Okay, so. I don't know how you... Sticky. There you go. So there's one fourth. Looks like a big snowball. One fourth. And fourth. All right, so you put the fourth of it in here. Uh huh. And I press it down. It's like they need like sugar or something as flour, so it doesn't stick to your hands. Make the uh, let's see, fill space on each side with with powder from the red packet. So. So of this here of the goza. Yes. You'll have to excuse our kitty cat. <laughs> she really Very wanted cool. to be in the video and... You know, we just don't like sharing the light. We told her no, but she's very persistent. Okay, so then you... The red packet? Yes. This one here? Uh-huh. How much of it? Uh, you place the dough on the, on the dumpling mold and press to make the hollow space. Fill space on each side with powder from the red packet. So you gotta press it down to make it hollow. And this is the one we're doing here? Yes, we're on step three. So, four corks really well, by the way. We are animal lovers, so you will hear our animals in the background periodically. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. It's gonna happen. Did you help make it hollow, hon? <laughs> By telling the third time, it's a charm. 
or if I read the instructions so I don't have to forget. He read exactly what I just told him. Well, you know, you get used to blocking someone out for so <laughs> long, and then... He thinks he's really funny. Is this what the scissors are for? Or not? His new bed is the couch. like Christmas in there. Now, do we need this for something else? I think you do put some in the spring roll. You just said fill the hollows on each side. Okay. okay. And then close the mold and press them together to attach. Don't do it again. I guess, I guess you cut the mold out. That's what it looks like. They did. I think you did it the wrong way. No. What? I did do it the wrong way. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> a dumpling has an indention. All right, now. And see folks, even following instructions or reading them himself, he still can't do it. And you don't have to make another one, so you don't have to cut it. Yeah, you it. do. It says repeat once oh, more. Make two dumplings. Oh, can't read instructions. I didn't read, no. I didn't read any instructions <laughs> that far. Do you make two dumplings? Where's That's the spring? What it says. We're making spring roll, though, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, let's try this again the proper way. We're newbies. I love things from Japan. Why do they like miniature stuff like this, do you think? Uh, Why is it so popular a, it's there? It's a very cutesy culture, so anything cute is... Like Hello Kitty? Like, like Hello Kitty, yeah. Like, the and Hello Kitty cartoon is horrible. I don't know why she's so popular. Our kids have a thing a of it. Yeah, it's just we have a DVD of it. Terrible. And it's not a good cartoon. She is cute, though. I'll give that. Like, I love kitty cats, and she's but adorable. They love cutesy things, so. Well, these are cute, these little miniatures. They had donuts. And... Yeah, they had a bunch of different ones. I just like this one. Because we like to make round Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> we like to do our, make our own ramen. Fancy ramen. Yeah, that's... fancy ramen. Okay, so let's do this once more. Oh, oh. Oh, almost wasted the filling. Oh my goodness. Get some of that Christmas magic in there. Yeah, we saved some of this for the spring. Yes. Alright, now. Fold it together. Like this. Wah, wah. Oh, we're smart. <laughs> look at that. We didn't have to use our fingers. Oh, look, it looks like it's a dumpling. Beautiful. Look how cute it is. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Make the spring roll. Place the powder on the from the red pack on the dole and roll repeat steps. Cause I got two more, right? I think so. One, two. Yeah. But where are you supposed to flatten it out at? Oh, there. Right, no, we'll do it in this. It said to use the that I think. This? No, that the package. Not that. This? Correct. So just flatten it out. Mm -hmm. And then. Like the next Chef Ramsey. Right. As long as I don't go home, people donkeys, <laughs> we'll be all right. <laughs> well, no, he's made quite a fortune off doing that. <laughs> I don't want to steal a stick. That's true. Difficult to do. When you try. Hey, that'll work. And you just roll it up. I guess the idea I'm of a spring roll. Bad at rolling it anyway, so bear with me. Oh, 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 we got it. We got I, it. I, I think. Needs to stick together. There, look, look, look at that. Candied spring. Roll. Yeah, that's nice. And you gotta do one more. 
one more. Let me see our slightly falling apart spring roll with uh, one dumpling with a crease in the middle and, and one normal dumpling. And there's our ramen toppings. Look at that. Pretty cute. Oh, here's the mango pudding uh, right here. It is still setting. It has to sit for 10 minutes. So it's still a work in progress. They should have given us a little plate. I know, that would have been really cute. Like even just like a cardboard one. Maybe they just assume you're gonna eat it. Well, we will eat it. Probably. Right away. Look how we're eating it, we're not wasting it. It was $12, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna roll the small ones backwards. Oh, he's a rebel, guys. We're rolling backwards. Hey, that one looks horrible. You're not a good egg roll roller. Nope. Or spring roll, my spring bad. Spring roll. Spring roll. Big difference. There is, I agree. Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta make the ramen? Yep. Pour water to line in the tray. Supposed to cut it and make a cute bowl. Oh. Oops. We're slackers. Well, this is our first time doing one of these. We're hoping to get better at them. Hey, look at all the dough we see. Wasteful. Water to the line. Okay. Powder from the brown packet. That's your soup mix. Soup, soup. Ooh, it looks just like beef broth. Pour water to the line in this tray. All the dough was in. yellow packet that everything is sitting on. Darn. We're not the most organized guys. We apologize. These are the noodles. So I think you just, you don't squeeze them in. Squeeze those noodles in there or something. No, you mix it. Okay, well, I didn't know. So. Oh, I see what it does. That's what that little bag's for. Oh, to squeeze them out of, yeah. yeah. Is it like gelatin in some of it? Have they got different consistencies for yeah, everything? Yeah, I would guess there's some kind of like, like gelatinous powder in there of some sort to make it work. So then you pierce the... So there you got your ramen broth and you've got your noodles on the left. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put the noodles in a little baggie. Poke a hole in it. Poke a hole in it. And then we're gonna put the noodle mixture in there and squeeze it into the ramen. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> Come on. Right, right. Which side did I put? Oh, I was wondering how you got the yellow part of the egg. Actually really impressed by that. <laughs> it's little things, guys. The little things. Look at that. 
it looks like real ramen. That is amazing. Look at that. really looks like ramen. At 30 years old, I'm super impressed by candy of all things. That is amazing. And then, we mix, flip this over onto something. Sorry, we're trying to put everything together here for y'all. Our dumplings, our spring rolls. Our ramen. Ramen with its toppings. There's the egg that stuck to my finger, but that's okay. And what was this called, Naruto? Like the, the anime? I think. Oh, that's that why? Because it's got a little thing in the middle of it? Yeah, there that's we go. Cool. And then our mango pudding. Let's see what do. Turn the cup over onto the packing pouch. It may not come out. Oh no. This is the only thing that's not going to look good. <laughs> come on, man. You're making me look bad. Hey! Oh, it came out! Look! Look at that. Okay. It's cute. I can't get the picture. <laughs> Good job. All right. Look at that. Now we can get with a cute little detail on the the ramen toppings and the noodles. It actually, look like noodles. And noodles and everything else. Yeah, the jello mold, it or the pudding mold, it turned out really nice. And there's the spring rolls. That one looks kind of <laughs> And then our dumplings. So overall, a really cute little thing, fun activity. Yeah, that was really fun, actually. You thought I'd hate it. Well, we don't like to do a lot of things that require lots of work. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, you don't like to do a lot, so... <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it was great. I'm sure it'll taste good. Get better for $12. That's right. <laughs> I don't worry about the $12 part. I don't know. I'm, we should just like freeze it or something. Look at it. That's awesome. <laughs> it's even got flex in it for the bra. It does. It's really neat. That's awesome. That's amazing. Well, thank you for joining us for this video. We appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And watch this. Ooh, it actually looks like ramen, guys. It is candy, though. Like, look at that. It's so neat. <laughs> That's crazy.